Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday morning, South Plains waking up to some rain showers out across portions of our area once again, and it looks like those could hang on throughout some portions of our day today. Now, as we take a look across the country, we're able to see this low pressure system bringing us some of that moisture into our area. Another one there over southwestern Missouri, but back home we are still seeing some of those showers out there. A lot of green on the map this morning. And I'm going to do something real quick. Going to ask Kathleen to come on over here. She has on a very pretty green dress today. <laughs> oh, but here in the weather lab, we know that our wall is also green. So, Are Kathleen, you ready for this? Get ready for it. All right, it. this is why meteorologists do not wear green. Yes. This is what happens. Completely showing through your dress this morning. You're able to see the showers down in brown. Fill yeah. through Kathleen. I'm just so, blending in with all the rain chances yeah. going just on right Just a little there. cool kind of like behind the scenes detail. But thank you so much, Kathleen. You, know, you can leave. I'll do it. I got that. No, it's you okay. Want you, to? Got, you can I'll do it. I'll let you gladly. But <laughs> I'll stick to the news. <laughs> okay, we'll stick to that. But just want to kind of show you one of those little cool things that we get to deal with every day here. But glad to see the showers out there this morning, especially over western areas. That's where drought conditions are the worst right now. That's why we need that rainfall, especially in those regions. For the most part, we didn't see a lot of severe weather reports yesterday, but on off to our east spur, just to the east of our area near Aspermont, we did see some of those large hail reports. In fact, Aspermont saw that baseball sized hail yesterday afternoon. Thankfully, though, all that severe weather is continuing to shift further to the east today. Those rainfall totals, though, have been pretty nice for some of us over the past couple of days. Down in Jayton, over one inch of rainfall there, 67 hundreds of an inch there in Snyder. Unfortunately, Lubbock, we haven't picked up anything, neither have uh, we in Loveland, but areas out west finally beginning to see some of that accumulating rainfall. So that's nice across the area this morning, still seeing those clouds and a little bit of that rainfall, just not here in the Hub City. As we go throughout the day today, areas to the south of the Highway 8262 corridor have the best chance to see those showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder or two that will last through the afternoon, evening, even the overnight hours tonight. By Friday, though, those showers will begin to decrease in number and eventually begin to move on out of our area with some drier conditions finally expected by Saturday. The North American model is very generous with these rainfall totals to our south. I do not think they're going to be this high, but some areas could see an additional half inch or so uh, over the next couple of days. Six to 10 day outlook looks like those warm temperatures hanging around for most of the country. So we're going to continue to see that here even on into the next eight to 14 days as well. Your seven day forecast shows rain chances today, tomorrow and a little bit on Saturday over extreme eastern portions of the area. That fire weather risk really begins to increase on Sunday as winds gust near 40 to 50 miles per hour. And Kathleen, we're going to watch for the possibility of some more storms on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so just be sure you don't wear green then in case we need some extra help there on the weather wall. All right, I'll, <laughs> I will be sure to uh, double check my wardrobe for next week and make sure to <laughs> take the green dress out of the rotation and be ready to hop on and help everybody oh, out. Yeah. Hey, we much appreciate it. Well, Red Raider <laughs> baseball back in.